insiders say there is no sign of reconciliation, with William and Harry only speaking by text message since Prince Philip's funeral in April. Feuding brothers Prince William and Prince Harry will set their differences aside for the unveiling of a statue of their mother, but insiders claim there is no sign of reconciliation. Although the two were seen chatting following Prince Philip's funeral in April, they have reportedly only communicated by text message since. Harry is set to return to the UK for a ceremony at Kensington Palace on July 1, which would have been Princess Diana's 60th birthday. A statue of Diana, who died in 1997, will be unveiled at the event, with royal fans helping it can bring the brothers together after a very public falling out. Both Harry and William will make speeches at the event but their relationship is said to be strained following months of tension. One told The Sun that the brothers had only communicated by text since April, with no personal chats or proper talks, instead just a very brief and minimal exchange of text messages. The source said. The relationship is still very much strained and there's no sign yet that there will be any sort of coming together any time soon, another source, said to be close to the statue planning committee said. The boys will walk out together out of respect for their mum but there's been no reconciliation. The insider said that Prince Charles will leave the boys to it. Harry will have to quarantine after he lands in the UK, and is expected to head to Frogmore Cottage, the home he moved into with Meghan before quitting for America. It comes after a rocky few months for the royal family after Prince Philip died and the fallout over Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey. Earlier this year the Sussexes made a string of bombshell allegations in an interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which Harry claimed his brother and dad, Prince Charles, were trapped by their positions. The couple also claimed that a member of the family had made negative remarks about son Archie's skin color before his birth and said Meghan was denied support while suffering a mental health crisis. Harry and Meghan stepped down from royal duties in 2020 and moved to the US. Earlier this month Meghan gave birth to their second child, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor. Last week Kate Middleton said she can't wait to meet her new niece. The Duchess of Cambridge, 39, made the remark while visiting a school during the G7 summit with US First Lady Jill Biden. She told reporters there, I wish her all the very best, I can't wait to meet her because we haven't yet met her yet so hopefully that will be soon. This morning the Mirror reported that Harry and Meghan's son Archie may never be a princess Prince Charles tries to slim down the eye-watering cost of the monarchy to taxpayers. The first in line to the throne is reportedly set to cull fringe members of the family, as he believes the public are fed up of footing the bill for hangers-on. Harry and Meghan are said to have learned about the decision shortly before their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. It has been reported that legal documents will be changed to ensure that Archie will not become a prince, a title usually bestowed on grandchildren of the monarch. Charles is said to be worried that the public is getting less keen to fund the lifestyles of more royals. The family received a £69.4 million public funded sovereign grant in 2020, but this does not include additional costs such as security, which is funded by police. Campaign group Republic, which has called for the monarchy to be abolished, estimates the true cost of the royal family to be £345 million per year to taxpayers. Clarence House has declined to comment on the latest reports.